I'm Marlana. Today's topic is blocks. And to start us off, here's a fun little finger play you can do with your toddler. I'm building with blocks way up to the sky. Did you ever see blocks reach so high? Block upon block, it's starting to lean. One more block. What could that mean? Crash! Of course there's a crash. It's part of the attraction of block play. Toddlers do love to see and cause big reactions. And while they're making things happen, they are learning so much. Balancing higher and higher stacks of blocks requires more and more finesse. It develops an innate sense of your center of gravity or your tower center of gravity and balance. It requires deft, fine motor control to align and balance your blocks and it develops gross motor control and core strength when you reach up higher than your head in order to balance up high. When building with friends, it encourages cooperative play and when they solve any issues that are sure to arise, it encourages persistence problem solving, and creative thinking. Now your two to three year old should have gotten pretty good at stacking five to nine blocks on top of each other, but it's time to start laying their blocks out side by side and building roads and bases for their tall towers and enclosures. And don't worry if you don't have an elaborate or expensive set of blocks because blocks can be just about anything that your toddler can safely stack. So use a little creativity and ingenuity when you're, reach, when you're getting your blocks out. And with that in mind, here are some of my suggestions for blocks to offer your child. First of all, don't discount the cushions and pillows off of your couch. They're great fun to stack and more fun to jump in when they crash to the ground. Don't be in too much of a hurry to recycle packages, boxes of, from packages that you receive in the mail. The same is true with shoe boxes, and these can be covered with contact paper to make them look like bricks or wood. Old food boxes are great for stacking, and you can save old coffee cans and um, oatmeal containers for stacking as well. One thing that's a lot of fun to stack is a roll of toilet paper, although you'll want to watch them closely so they don't toilet paper your living room while they play. Pots and pans are just made for stacking. Rolls of tape have a nice weight and feel for stacking. Tupperware containers with lids. Items found in nature can be used as blocks. You can use sticks and stones. Those pool noodles from this summer can be sliced into smaller pieces and used as blocks. And finally, to top it all off, you can use a toilet paper roll. Those are hard to balance. Ah, there's a crash. Finally, one fun thing you can do to enhance their play and their learning is to take pictures of themselves or pictures of themselves and their friends doing things that were a great learning experience at the time onto their blocks. And then you can use them as story starters and encourage them to tell you the story of what's happening in their tower right now. So break out the blocks and get busy playing to learn. You're sure to build something amazing and some pretty impressive towers too. Thanks so much.